Hey everybody, it's Jay, and it's time to talk about your flare. On 15 pieces of flare, I'm going to show you all some ways to spruce up that game room. Now, let's not even beat around the bush. I made this critical 20-sided mace whacker. Let's check out how I made it. For this project, we're going to need a piece of PVC piping. 7 8 inch outside diameter, pre-cut to about 17 inches. You need PVC primer and cement, a giant foam D20 purchased on Amazon, a large foam D6 purchased at the Dollar Tree, an electric drill with a 3 quarter inch wood boring spade bit, silver spray paint, a hot glue gun with glue, a spool of twine, and some scissors. First, you can take the PVC pipe and apply the primer. You can measure about how much you need by sizing up the dice. It's better too much gets primed than not enough, so be generous. Set that aside to dry. Using the electric drill with 3 quarter inch wood boring spade bit, measure how deep into the dice you want your bit to go. Then carefully drill straight into the dice. Use your finger to clean out the holes. Once you've got both holes bored out, you can slide the dice onto the PVC pipe as far as they can go. Use your scissors to score the PVC as a guide to where you put your cement on. Then take the cement and generously apply inside of the six-sided die hole and to the respective side of the pipe. Insert the pipe into the die while doing a little bit of a twisting motion. Wipe off any excess with a paper towel. Repeat the same process to the 20-sided die. Don't be afraid to be extra generous with the cement on this one because the hole didn't quite bore as clean as the six-sided die. Once you got both of those on, let them sit as long as the cement directions say. For me, it was about 15 minutes. Then you can hang your mace in a well-ventilated area and completely spray both dice silver. After about 30 minutes, I flipped the mace over and completely sprayed it again with a second coat. Get your twine ready to start wrapping, then apply a small bead of hot glue to the shaft. Attach the end of the twine to the shaft with the hot glue. Be careful, the hot glue is hot. Then starting all the way up by the head, start wrapping. Make it nice and tight together. Keep wrapping, keep wrapping, keep wrapping. After about 20 minutes, you'll want to keep wrapping and then wrap some more. And finally, you'll reach the pommel. To finish it off, add some glue around the shaft right next to the D6. Then wrap the twine into the glue. Cut the end of the twine and add some more glue, then press the end of the twine into the glue. Be careful, the hot glue is hot. Use a utensil to press the twine into the hot glue. When you're wrapping this, don't do it on a table like I did for this video. It will cause the paint to wear off of the D20. I had to go ahead and take it back outside and carefully respray all of the areas that wore off. Boom, there you have it. A quick and easy way to add one of these to your game room. Um, I'm not even exactly sure what I'm going to do with this. Probably just leave it laying around, let my friends hit me with it or whatever. Um, I love this thing. I wish it held up a little bit better to abuse up here. The paint chips off a little bit easier than I'd like, but quick spray of a uh, spray paint to cover that back up and it's good to go. And I think next time I'll use a little bit thicker twine to wrap the handle. It took me forever to wrap that thing. But otherwise, I love how this thing turned out. Ugh. Um, I don't know if I'm going to sell these on my Etsy page or not, but I probably will um, because I feel like a lot of people might want one. Anyways, Board Games Outsider, my new podcast. I interview industry professionals about the jobs that they have and skills and experience that is important for them that they have their job and tips and tricks for you to get a job like theirs. So if that sounds cool to you guys, check it out anywhere. Um, podcasts can be found. That's Board Games Outsider. If any of you guys have suggestions on games or ideas you'd like me to make into some flair, leave them in the comments below or shoot me a message anywhere on social media. Um, don't forget everybody, 15 pieces of flair is the bare minimum. Some people choose to do more and I certainly encourage that. Have fun everybody.